Week three of the legislative session and lots going on at the state house, and we're finally getting to the meat of the meal. Property taxes. Kind of more like liver and onions of the meal, probably, because let's be honest, while necessary, not exactly everyone's favorite topic. With exploding growth comes exploding property taxes. I mean, it's based on the value of your home, after all. And it's been a problem, specifically in Idaho's most populous cities, for a while now. Lawmakers did work to pass some property tax legislation last year, but some argue it actually created more problems. One example, seniors who lost qualifications to stay on the property tax reduction program. Others say the homeowner exemption needs to be increased to keep up with growing property values. Joe Paris, well, he holds his nose and tries to digest some early ideas on property tax solutions. At the end of the 2021 legislative session, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agreed skyrocketing property taxes for Idahoans needed to be addressed. One area some lawmakers wanted and are now keying in on, helping seniors who are struggling to keep up with their property taxes as their home values continue to go up. There are a number of solutions that we need to be advancing to solve our property tax woes. Assistant House Minority Leader Democrat Laura Necochea says she drafted a bill to undo the consequences of the property tax legislation passed in 2021. They decided to kick about 2,000 seniors off of the property tax program just based on the value of their house. Uh, many of these seniors live in modest houses and they won't be able to uh, receive their property tax assistance anymore unless we take action. That legislation cut down on the amount of people who are now eligible for the state's property tax relief program. The idea behind the 2021 legislation was to prevent Idaho taxpayers from having to pay the bill on high value homes that qualified for the assistance program. Nekochea says her bill would essentially reverse consequences of 2021 legislation while also expanding eligibility for the property tax relief program, commonly called the circuit breaker. It deletes restrictions that prevent people from accessing it, and it increases the income eligibility up to $50,000 a year. We know for a family of four just to get by in the state with costs, they need to earn $60,000, $65,000 a year and just to pay for basic necessities. And so this would raise income eligibility up to $50,000 a year per family. Right now, the income eligibility only covers up to $32,230. Nekochea's idea comes with a price tag of about $37 million. She says the investment could greatly help people struggling with property taxes. My bill would triple the number of families who can get property tax reduction assistance. But it's not just seniors who need the help. Republican Representative Greg Cheney has an idea to allow Idahoans who receive the homeowner's exemption to deduct up to half of their property tax payment from their state income taxes. It could effectively wipe out a lot of people's income tax liability to, to the state of Idaho, and it could uh, put that money back in people's pockets. So it's essentially getting half of what you pay in property taxes back uh, on your income taxes, uh, provided that you owe that much in income taxes, it wouldn't give you more than you owed. The proposed bill would also allow an income tax credit for Idaho residents for up to 10% of the property taxes they paid on a rental property. Cheney says he knows some will push back on the idea because they see it as the state bailing out local governments who are not controlling their budgets. Some argue that to curb the property tax issue, local governments need to scale back budgets so they don't need as many taxpayer dollars. The main criticism of it is it's the state budget uh, supplementing local bu budgets, but really what it is is it's the state budget giving back to uh, the taxpayer money that they've paid in. Cheney says getting creative to tackle the massive property tax topic is crucial. I think one of the, the big risks that we face is in any governing body is, is that we get tunnel vision and we start focusing in on one or two solutions. I think that oftentimes uh, that tunnel vision can be the reason why. So I think we need to stay open uh, to all ideas. That certainly is an interesting topic there that uh, Representative Cheney brought up, Joe. And just to be clear, it isn't the state that charges you a property tax. It's all of the taxing entities within your taxing district that take a portion of what your home's value is and all that kind of stuff. But that is for another topic. What about this homeowner's exemption? Any idea on that's going to be increased? Yeah, and it's been flat for a number of years, Brian, and there's a lot of lawmakers I've spoken with at the legislature that tell me 
there are people that want to see the homeowner's exemption go up. And right now you can exempt 50% of the value of your home and one acre of land for a maximum of $100,000 on your property tax. And that $100,000 max, it's been the same since 2017. And some argue that yes, we need to increase it to keep up with prices. Some would like to see it up to 150 or $200,000, depending on the area. Yeah, they, these days that 100,000 is a pretty low number. All right, thank you very much, Joe.